Dragon Force have uh, dropped a new album. They've dropped a couple of singles, uh, and one has a music video, Burning Heart. Um, I will admit I am not particularly well versed in uh, Dragon Force. Obviously, I know through the through the fire and flames, anybody who's played Guitar Hero or Rock Band or whatever it is in the last ten fifteen years knows that song. It's infamous uh, and honestly, kind of a banger. Uh, it's I mean, it's obviously like. 10 minutes of just guitar wankery all over the place, but it's a pretty good version of one of those. Like if you're going to watch crazy, stupid, over-the-top power metal guitar wanky stuff, this seems like the one to pick, right? I mean, I'm sure that there are more refined examples, but I like that song, and I've also quite like Herman Lee, their guitarist. He, um, I don't know if he was doing it pre-lockdown, but I definitely saw um, him starting to do podcasty stuff, um, over the course of lockdown, and he's he's quite a charming bloke. I I enjoyed it. I think he did a collaboration with um with Ailstorm at one point, which really cracked me the fuck up. He was like doing a whole like I can write an Ailstorm song in you know two hours or something like that, and then they did a follow up where they actually got the singer from Ailstorm to come in and do some vocals for them. It was pretty entertaining. I would recommend you look it up. Uh, so yeah, why not? I thought let's have a <laughs> have a look. I'm chuckling because I've got it on my monitor right now. Um. And it, it's the only song I've ever seen. Oh, you can't see it really because I'm in the way, but it's got timestamps for the different parts. And a lot of them just say epic solo, solo Herman, solo Sam, solo Herman, solo Sam. There's a bit that just says yes. <laughs> Bridge, epic chorus, even more epic final chorus. I fucking love that. That is so clever. Well, uh, clever is a strong word. It's so Dragon Force. Uh, so, yeah, let's have a look uh, and check out Burning Hearts. You know what I was expecting, really. There he is, Herman, my man. I think that was that Sam is the other guy that was streaming with him. Oh my god, what else was I expecting, really? That's a sick drum kit. <laughs> oh wait, I need pause on that drum kit. Yeah, that is fucking awesome. I don't know why I've never seen one that looks like that before. Just the way that the, I guess it's the um, all the. Shafts? That seems like not the right word, but all the sticks, they're like kind of metal and folding in. I like that a lot. That's really sick. Double kick drum! Ah, oh, there's a girl. I didn't know. <laughs> oh, uh, this is another um, green screen epic I see. It does make me laugh when they do these things because I imagine, well, like, my guess is that they were all standing in the room at the same time. Sometimes I'm not sure they are, but this looked look coherent enough. But it must be quite a big room for this, purely because they've got some fairly wide shots. And all the lighting's quite consistent. It kind of looks like, I don't know, Swedish John 5. And Herman looks like he's about to come at all times. Oh. Ah, there's the synth thing. <laughs> the back and forth was absolutely perfect. I love that. And they're like, whatever EQ they put on him. Oh, new color palette. Ah, now they're on top of rocks. I tell you what, actually, I should probably stop pausing this song. This song's like six fucking minutes long, but this is a terrible band to try and green screen from, having attempted to green screen a little bit. I know they must have done it in the studio and all that, but long hair in the wind is like the absolute biggest ball ache to try and key out of anything, so fair play. Oh, there he is! <laughs> ah, there it is! How do they remember this shit? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I really thought he was going to punt it then. I like how she's like kind of comparatively cool compared to the other guys. Oh, genocide, okay. I kind of want to see what the lyrics of this are like. If it, uh, This is probably... They're probably auto-generated, so there's no fucking chance this catches up. We'll see. It's like the Pokemon theme song on steroids. So we're still in the uh, burning heart according to the timestamps, which is nice. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I mean, far be it from me to to say it's formulaic, but like, I'm not gonna lie. This is the same difference. I mean, I'm I'm uninitiated, so like, what am I gonna do? But when I listen to the entirety of Rick Astley's album, the second song on the album sounds like a B verse for the first song. This sounds like a B verse. This whole six minute epic sounds like a B verse to Fire and Flames. You know, like they do very similar things. The format is similar. They do it very fucking well. Um, but you know, they figure out burning hearts and then just smack you around the head with it. But uh, hey, I'm sure that's part of the appeal for a lot of people. Also, motherfucker must have been to the, like, gymnastic school for the spread he's got in those legs. Look at them all go! Now I imagine they're all wearing kilts. <laughs> Fucking finger tappy stuff is so wanky, I love it. Oh, back to red. Oh, see, I like the, uh, synthy part. I don't know what this reminds me of. Yeah, I knew. That was Kevin. There's a little stick flip for, like, no reason. Okay. Oh, okay. We're now going to get some like. Is that what this bit is? Where are we now? Um, oh, okay. It's the bass solo. Sick. All right. Let me move this side to the timestamps. Uh, yeah, look at that. That's a really nice bass. Ah, uh, more bass solo, please. That wasn't long enough. See, I get the feeling I'm gonna like the proggy instrumental stuff more than the chorus. <laughs> God, he's so into it. I don't know why, I find Sam the most cringy member of this uh, outfit. Oh, right, now we're back to. Okay, that was the duel. Oh, these are all like really short timestamps, aren't they? I mean, this is some good guitar in. Ah, uh, Green's King keying out the bottom of his guitar a smidge. Oh, now the drums really start to get hectic. <laughs> oh, you can't not laugh, can you? You know what I think I realised I liked about the Ulysses solo is that I didn't. It wasn't double fucking time on the kick drum. I like it when it's not double time on the kick drum, I think. Hers is the best sound, if you ask me. Also, her bass is fucking beautiful. How old are these guys? I feel like they've been going for a really long time, too. Ooh. Tasty little piano line. What's this bit called? Yes. <laughs> there we go. Those harmonies. Oh, okay, no, they cucked me a bit, ready? Oh, key chains! Fuck yeah, you can't get away without it. Yeah, even she's smiling now. Go on, Alicia. Alicia. <laughs> My question, though, I will say, is how good is his voice live? Because I'm not saying it's not, I have no informed opinion on that one, but that is a fucking hard vocal line he is doing right there. And I've seen some bands that really bitch out on those high choruses. They record it in the studio. Uh, I'm looking at you, Reckless Love. I like a few, quite a lot of your music, but I watched a couple of videos of you doing live and you just don't write songs you can't fucking sing. It's like Black Smoke Rises, Greta Van Fleet. I love Greta Van Fleet, but he can't do that chorus live and it's irritating. Uh, he might be able to, I don't know. It's just, I'm curious. Uh, so much washed out. Fucking hell. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so this is like, I was gonna say, this is the even more epic final chorus. Jesus Christ, eh? Feel like I just got beaten around the head with guitars and double kick bass and drums. <sighs> oh. There's a reason why I listen to one Dragon Four song every like ten years. It's not because they're bad; they're fucking epic versions of what they are. Whew, my heart rate is going just from listening to that. I did enjoy it though. It's um, 
when I was laughing, it was mostly good natured laughing. I'll have you know, by the way. Um, I never really. I mean, it's pretty much exactly what I was expecting. It was um, less repetitive than some of the stuff of theirs I've heard. Like, I feel like there's more than one song that has a so far away. Like, literally those lyrics in it. I might be wrong on that, but it felt like that. So this one was definitely a very good version of that. Uh, I liked the sort of proggy section where they slowed down and did all the solos, which normally I wouldn't have expected to, but actually the, the dual solos were really good. The bass solo was sick. Um, oh, they've literally got a time set that says how many solos, question mark. That's pretty great. Um... Yeah, the, the vocals are, if they if he can do that, if the, I mean, I'm, God, no one does that in one take, you know what I mean? If, if those are as authentic as they're presenting them as, then fair enough, he's got a ridiculous voice. Uh, the power stance on that shit as well, Jesus Christ. They're like um, Tibetan monks, it's like mastering standing with their like, legs on two different planks of wood for hours at a time to get to that point. And also, they must have the stretchiest skinny jeans of all fucking time. Um, Herman Lee is great, he, he's just, he oozes charisma in his, like... I don't know, convulsions as he's like screeching those fucking, um, you know, those, uh, those, those solos out. Fair enough. Sam, I don't know why. I just find him the cringier of the two. I think that's possibly from watching one of Herman's live streams. And th I think Sam was the other guy that they were like, we're going to write a pirate song. I don't know why his demeanor annoyed me a little bit. He might be an absolute charm. And I'm sure all the Dragon Force uh, fans in the comments will leap to his defense. I like the rest of them. Um, I loved his drum kit too. Um, yeah, cool. Well, I'm glad that these guys are still like, you know, A, getting the budget. I mean, admittedly, you know, it's just a green screen, but it was again a fairly well done one. Um, I like the palette changes as they go across the color swaps and all that. Um, not quite Bon Jovi levels, but you know, who is? <laughs> uh, even though I actually preferred the song to the Bon Jovi one by a fairly large margin. Cool. Well, yeah, I um, so, surprising enough, this video is already 12 minutes long, so I guess I will cut it there. That's about all I got to say, but thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. What's your favorite Dragon Force song? Is there a song that they have written that is actually better than Through the Fire and Flames? I don't believe it, but maybe prove me wrong. Um, yeah, Enemy of Love. Going to continue to bug you to watch that one for a little bit. I am in the pipeline of editing a Cooking with Renz, which hopefully you'll get this year if I can pull my finger out of my ass and get to work on that so yep yeah, great thank you all for watching have a wonderful day and i'll see you all in the next one peace